Hey everybody, we're back here at the hunting land. Um, I just want to bring you a quick update video as far as the food plot and I also got a small treat. It's more of a treat for me because I own it now. Um, but I got something that is going to help me out in the future as far as these food plots. It's going to make it a whole lot easier. Um, that is, it, it'll take less work. The amount of work I put in this one, I can put in maybe five in that amount of time. Um, so stay tuned until the end to see what I've got in store. But basically, I just wanted to show y'all what grew. Uh, let's see, today is, I think it's October. October. No, it's actually September 30th. So it's been 30 days since we've been here. So, had Hurricane Florence come through, drop a lot of rain. Uh, some other storms dropped a lot of rain. I've already peeked at it. It's got little sprigs, but um, let's, let's, let's just check it out. As far as the grasses, I haven't seen any other plants except for the grasses. Um, it's a lot of new growth, like this right here all over the, the area I'm not sure if it's drying out or what it's doing it's got a little burnt edge on it but places like this right here it's growing real good um, I thought it was supposed to be some clover in this as well which it might not have had enough time to grow yet I'm not sure of the lifespan of clover as far as growing or germination process but see this stuff right here? This is awesome. Being that it's burnt, may, may have got ate a little bit or chewed on a little bit. <laughs> and doing what I did is actually a little more grass than it was last time. Um, there wasn't a whole lot last time. Now it's just bukus and bukus of wild grasses, natural grasses. See, even that, that real good spot that I said that I tore up the ground a whole lot, it's not even growing that well here. It's growing better in the um, grassy areas. They were already there. Oh, I think I saw something. Hey, I do, I do. That right there. That right there is going to turn into something. I'm not sure exactly what plant it is. I believe that is one as well. So, it's not too bad. Oh my God, these mosquitoes are eating me up. Now this one right here, I think this is where I dumped it out. I'm not sure. But it grew very well. Trying to see if I can find any more of those small plants that I just found. I think some of this as well, maybe. Looks like it. Looks like new growth. Real soft. Looks like it's already been chewed on. So, it's good. I like the um, progress. It's not as full as I want it to be. I did this real late this season. I wasn't expecting a whole lot. I'm sorry if I'm shaking smacking and breathing real hard. I'm trying to get all these damn mosquitoes off of me. I had one land on me a while ago that I thought I was gonna have to take out with a three piece. It was huge. Anytime you can feel something land on you, it's got some weight to it. And he just landed on my shoulder and he's like, what's up? So I thought I was gonna have to throw a three piece on him. Um, I'm satisfied so far as far as the grass. Um, it's got sprigs everywhere, so I'm not worried about it. Um, I'm not worried about it not coming up. There's grass everywhere where I planted. I know it is that grass, but there's nowhere else except for where I tore up the ground. But that is it for right now. I'm going to shoot this back home right quick and show you what I got. Well, 
this is it. Uh, this is a Allison Chambers 312. Um, it's got originally a 10 horsepower motor, but it did not run right, so I switched it out with my 12 off my wheel horse. Um, it's shaft driven. You see that in there? Yes, yeah, shaft driven. The tires are dry rider, but they're holding air. Actually, in great condition, other than the dry rot. Uh, it's got a tiller head or tiller deck or whatever you want to call it on the back. I can raise this up and raise it, you know, put it down whenever I need it. Um, this is going to help me out in my food plots. Uh, I have a box blade as well that goes with this. I've just got to weld it on a few spots. That way, um, I've got this piece right here off an old one and I put it on one of those um, box blade pull behind things you pull behind uh, on the four wheeler. Uh, I want to be able to lift it up and down that way I'm not dragging crap out of the rest of the ground around it. So but well, this is it. Uh, I have a blowout on the muffler so I'm going to have to get another muffler somehow. Um, other than that, it runs great, other than small little details. Um, it's got a gas leak on the fuel pump. Uh, I mean, it's just, it's just a, it's a shiner upper. My dad actually gave this to me. Um, I've been wanting it forever and a day. He had it in his shop. Uh, he was going to restore it. He was going to take everything apart. He had the engine out of it. That's why I had to swap out engines. Uh, and so, why wow, it was so easy. Um, he was just going to take everything apart and redo it, repaint it. And he felt the need to clean out his shop, and I was the first one he called. <laughs> so, I've acquired another piece of equipment from my dad. And as long as we don't have child, um, not child support, damn, uh, divorce papers uh, come up, I, I guess I'm good to go. Um, as long as I don't see those papers come up on the table in the kitchen, I'll uh, get useful pieces of equipment from my dad. But yeah, I'm just kind of paddling around it, getting a good, good glimpse of it. If, uh, if anybody knows anything about these types of tractors, um, so shoot me a message down there, you know, stuff I need to look out for, what would make it easier for me to use this, uh, where can I get motor parts, what size battery, belt, and all that kind of stuff that goes with it, you know, that'd be most helpful, most, most helpful, um, because I'm unexperienced, and then when you get one of these right here, it's like almost getting something completely different than a regular lawnmower, because you got... Uh, heavier duty stuff and usually with these older stuff uh, Allison Chambers um, Massey Ferguson tractors and stuff like that little small compact tractors there's gonna be stuff that I'm gonna have to specially order or find some kind of company that carries this stuff but this is the uh, this is the new toy um, hopefully I can retire it or at least not retire it but fix it up a little bit better than what it is now uh, just you know give it a good fresh coat of paint anything that's really rusted you know sand it out and redo it so I, I do need this piece of equipment as far as uh, functional but I would like for it to look a little bit better and last a whole lot longer too but other than that that's uh that's the new toy that's what I've been waiting on for a while that's what's going to help me on my um food plots I've also got a spare one right here for parts I've already robbed all the uh, the tiller blades off of it and some of the other parts so I'll have that to be a backup for anything that breaks down I hope y'all enjoyed the video um, leave a like and comment down below uh, if you want to see more videos like this one as far as tractors and me possibly using them in the future just leave a like so i know y'all uh like what i'm putting out other than that 
Y'all have a good weekend. I'll see y'all in the next one.